Ah, Father, what in heaven? Very high, very high, very high, very high. Look at this gold, Christian hair. Very sick. Give us this day our daily bread. And to give yeah. life for your 36. <laughs> All the Christian chapters. Not one small slender. 37 and no more. 37 souls. And may Allah give you joy. <laughs> conquered, the holy land is yours, but never will you conquer this. I go to all the kings in Christendom. A mighty host shall arise and arm. Who sets foot in Asia with the sword shall not return. The swords of a prophet will conquer. Go, Hermit. Carry your thunder across the sea. Tell your Christian kings what you have seen. Your women sold as slaves. Your knights trampled under our horses. Your gospels cast into the flames. The power of your cross broken forever. Stop, blasphemer. I go, but I will come again. And with me shall come the great crusade. The armies of Christ shall arise and redeem his tomb. The cries of these Christian women sold into slavery shall be answered. The host of our Lord shall fall upon Islam like a mighty wave of the sea. Woe to you, unbeliever. I go to preach the great crusade. <laughs> of France to war for your faith, to lead the multitudes on crusade, to free the city that was hallowed by the footsteps of our Lord. Your answer, Philip, Lord King of France. I will go. So be it. Until now, you have fought for the man who is Philip. For France. But now, your sword, your life, I give to God that the gates of Jerusalem may be opened and the tomb of our Lord set free by this crusade.
sire. If you go, what of Richard? Richard of England? Richard the Lionheart of England. With you away? We'll take France. Is that what you try to say, Conrad of Montferrat? Quite. Richard is betrothed to my sister Alice. And with Alice, Queen of England. The English lion will be caged. <laughs> You're a wise and clever king. I do my duty and safeguard France. Richard would not dare break this pledge of marriage. Alice and I leave at once for England. I will accompany you. I desire to see this English king. The devil reigned in hell, and both for mighty monarchs who govern passing well. He holds his friend high this time. Watch out! He's leaning for the bottom! Oh, Till Richard went to Hades, the devil a visit to pay, and with his fire and brimstone, poor Satan ran away. <laughs> and broke his pitchfork too. Guard yourself, Blondell. I'll try a singing target. Here he comes! Look out, Steel. Oh, you can't shape steel with words. Yeah. Eh? But, sire, every lick that goes into this now will come out in a fight. Me, sire, you can't shape steel with love taps. Give it me. Love taps? Aye, lad. <gasps> sire, it wants my arm to strike it right. Your arm? Well, who do you think strikes the harder blow, a king or a smith? <laughs> Why, a smith, of course. Oh, all right. We'll find out. How? You can have the first blow and no love taps, remember? Strike my king? Lord, bless me, no. That'd be treason. I command you to strike and strike hard. Mercy on my soul. The smith dislikes to strike his king. <laughs> Yet washes. For the blow. Well, what hold your man? Strike! Now will the birds begin to sing. Oh, I oh. Oh. <laughs> love tap, my dear fellow. Nothing but a love tap. Now then, you keep your nay, sire. Huh? Wrong man. Oh. The king prepares to smite the smith. Oh, let the welkin ring. The stars he'll see are not a myth. Now you keep your feet. Here comes the royal swing. <laughs> <laughs> Take you, Richard, you've done for him. What? Oh, no, he's got to finish my sword. Here, Hercules, come on, get up. You've got to finish my sword. Come on, man, get up. The sword, man, the sword. Hey, hey, hey. The sword. <laughs> <laughs> Something hit me. Yeah. 
something in. Oh, I shall bring it. The king. Hey? The king. Aye! <laughs> the king! Lady's fist to me joy he did. A fair, sweet lad. The Earl of Leicester comes. Sire, the Earl of Leicester. Sire. What's the matter, Robert? Have you seen a ghost? I've seen the King of France. Philip here in England? He's at the castle. Will you come to greet him? Does my saintly cousin come in peace or war? He comes in peace. And he brings his royal sister. Oh, Alice. Well, she's no dove with an olive branch. Your father gave his pledge to France that you would wed the Princess Alice, the surly-tempered wench. Your father's pledge was England's pledge. You cannot escape this marriage. Now, what do I care for France? Fighting. Always fighting. Fearing no devil and praying to no god. Well, why should I? I know my horse, Fauvel. I know the feel of a lance in my hand. I know what it is to see men go down before me. Now look, this sword being made for me, no other arm shall wield it but mine. With this sword, Robert, I'll swing a stroke from Norway down to Spain. Why should I fear and pray for what I don't understand? The King of France is waiting. How much longer, Prince John, will Richard keep France waiting? Who knows what Richard will do? He's not an ardent suitor, is he, brother? <laughs> if he knew that the fairest lady in Christendom were waiting, I'm sure but that he... he does know. I sent Lester to tell him. Oh. And I offer apology for him. Richard is my brother, and I am deeply ashamed. Ashamed? Of my future husband, Prince John? Ashamed of your king, Prince John? Yes, for many things, in many ways. It is an open scandal. He has no faith in God. He is a graceless... Richard, by the grace of God, King of England, Duke of Normandy and Equity, Count of Anjou, Ah, Cousin Philip. Welcome to Windsor and to England. The greetings of France. Ah, the Lady Alice. I'm not accustomed to waiting, Richard, even for a betrothal kiss. Well, let's postpone it. Well, uh, what other guests have we? Conrad, Marquis of Montferrat, and my friend. Then he is mine. England gives welcome to Montferrat. <laughs> I understand now, sire, why men call you the Lionheart. <laughs> 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 well, why are we all so glum? Come on, wine, music. Oh, that, wine. Blondel, Sir. Richard, we've come I've to... I've not had my troubadour, have you? Shall it be of love? No, 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 hunting. And why not of love? Come, Richard. We'll pledge to my sister Alice. Uh, what's the, um, what's the cross, Cousin Philip? The sign of the crusade. The crusade? I go to holy war in Palestine. A miracle is happening, Richard. Men are arming everywhere for our Christian faith. Emperor Barbarossa of Germany has taken the cross. So has Leopold of Austria. And Hugo of Burgundy goes. Well, let him go. I have no love for monks and shave pates. And I'm content in England and France. You realize why we've come, Richard, Alice, and I? How long do you propose to honor us here? My time is short. And so I give you happiness, Richard, in your marriage to my sister. <laughs> I've no wine left, Philip. I can't drink that toast.
The pledge of marriage was given by your father. Yes, but Alice and I were just children then. And the late king, your father, desired this alliance with France. Philip, you know that the late king, my father and I, seldom agreed on anything. The lion squirms in the net. Richard of England, do you refuse to wed the princess of France to whom you are pledged? Uh, sire, sire, there's a great crowd at the outer gate. They seek the king. Well, let them in. You'll answer me. Yes, yes, Philip, later, later. Open the gates, open the gates, I say. Richard, you'll get an excellent view from the balcony. of England, the kings and the peoples of every other land are going forth to war for the cross. Will you close your ears to the cry of Christendom? No. No. Do you fear to die where Christ our Lord suffered to give you life everlasting? No. Will you turn from him now that he is being crucified again? Behold, in the city of his sorrow, darkness falls again upon the Mount of Calvary. Will ye deny him now? No. <laughs> Come to the army of the cross. Lift up your swords, not for lust or gold, but for the Lord our God. Come ye men of England, take the cross to your heart that ye may find the real, true cross. That man's inspired. Now shall the son depart from the father and the husband from the wife. Oh. Many who go shall not return. Therefore, all other earthly promises and vows are wiped away. We will give all. We will By the devil's teeth, I see the way out. Father! The king is the king the king! Stand back! King Richard! God bless King Richard! Good father. Do I hear her right? The taking of the cross will cancel a pledge. No other pledge shall bind one who has taken the crusader's oath. Then give me the oath. <laughs> Richard of England, will you join the crusade, forsaking all else? Yes, I will renounce everything. Even the lovely woman to whom I'm pledged. <laughs> Richard of England, you swear you will not lift your hand against any other who wears the cross. That you will not turn aside from the crusade until the holy city is again free. I swear. Give me the cross. You can lie to yourself, Richard. You can lie to me. But you cannot lie to God. This cross will humble you, Richard. It will burn into your heart till your pride is in the dust. The king takes the cross! <laughs> that settles Philip. But not the Lady Alice. What is she going to do? Look, he's going to do Father, give me the cross. Alice of France. No, no! This is work for men. Work for all Christians, men and women. Work for men and only for men. I'll get you knights, I'll get you men at arms, yeomen, esquires, grooms, cooks, blacksmiths. I'll even get you a minstrel. <laughs> there, Blondel! <laughs> Fire! Alice of France, do you swear you will not lift your hand against any other who wears the cross? Let me through to the king. I have the king's sword. <laughs> Cry 
it sounded. England is at war! Mother, I must go. Alan, my boy, you may never come back. Mother, I may touch the wood of the true cross. Out with your steel, men! What a true saying! <laughs> Consecrate these swords to the service of England, to the service of God. Amen. Let God's blessing be upon these swords. May they rescue the tomb of Christ, our Lord. May they restore to his people the cross on which he died. Amen. Burns low. An eventful day, my princely friend. An eventful day. You may have won a throne. Check. You're a treacherous man, Montserrat. <laughs> In good company, John. <laughs> <laughs> Check. John, supposing your brother Richard does not return from this crusade? Well, hazardous business these crusades. Many will be killed. Even kings. By the infidels? Yes, of course. By the infidels. Check. Then I would be king of England. Mm -hmm. And marry Alice of France. Would England and France, when the crusade is won, make me king of Jerusalem? Yes. Sire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, John, I have the direst premonition tonight that your lion-hearted brother will never return to England. In fact, I can give you my word for it.
Regina. The English. Oh. to the Holy Land to free the tomb of our Lord. Oh, I wish I could carry a sword and fight with them. A nurse the sick, or... Tina. Tina, we must do something to help them. Crusader! Crusader, where is your king? Hey, lass, don't you know him? No, but I've heard the minstrel sing of his chivalry. His bravery. His gentleman. <laughs> yes, his gentleman. <laughs> yes, they sing of a saint in armor leading the Blessed Crusade. And they're better singers than I am. What do you want of him, lass? Uh, I have flowers for him. Flowers? <laughs> He'd rather have a side of beef. We haven't eaten for a week. Oh, but we have plenty. We shall help you. My father has thousands of cattle. Where is your king? Thousands of cattle. Young. Make that catapult into line with the street. Come along, Tina. Hurry. Round the mountain now we go. A fair young face to see. Oh. And now the ocean billows blow, broad as they can be. Oh. Hold on, Bobby. Up the field, Bobby. Go through that house. That's King Richard. Get a cover them trucks, Mother Freeland. Get a good defense of hands. Fire fire. Come on, let's try it there. Come on, get over there. Don't quit that horse, you idiot. Stop the king's horse. He said, come on, let's go. He's got the king's horse. Your horse. That's blood. You catch it. Blockhead! Oh. You'll hang if that horse is crippled! Alan, men, all together! That can't be Richard. Oh, yes. That's Richard. I hope he starves. The king! We've got to see the king! The king! We want to see you! 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 Well, what is it? Sire, we've had no food for days. We must eat. I'll get you food, but stop howling for it. But, sir, I'll tell her. King Sancho, I'll give you a bond on the city of London for your cattle. And what could I do with your city of London? Can you move London to my poor kingdom of Navarre? No, no, Richard. You heard my price. I cannot pay it. Oh, but Navarre is a poor country, and I am a poor king. We drove our cattle down to Marseille to sell to you crusaders for gold, not promises. By the devil's teeth, I'll take what I need. No. That's not sure. Seize all his cattle. Richard! You wear the cross. You may not plunder another Christian, or strike one. Still, there, there is a way. Well, I have a daughter, a fair, sweet girl, just like a flower. A girl, but ready to be married. Uh, you understand? No. Marry her. Ma Marry your daughter? Yes. Well, by the 
the devil's beard. I'll settle a dower on her. Herds of cattle and sheep, shiploads of grain, a hundred cartloads of fodder for your horse. You can marry a waste of the devil. Tighten your belt, Robert. Scour the countryside, clean what you can. The country's bare as a wolf's tooth. Sire, the men are truly desperate for food. We sail tomorrow. We can't ship horses without fodder. How many head of cattle have you, Nova? Oh, 6,000. How many? Uh, 7,000. How much grain? Barley and wheat enough to fill four cargo ships. I'll marry you, Wenchman. No, 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 Robert. Would you crown this unknown girl Queen of England? I said I'd marry her. I said nothing about the crown of England. Uh, well, she'll arrange that. Drive your cattle and your carts here into my camp. I'll marry a girl when we come back from crusade. Oh, promises. Promises. All right, all right, here. This is surety that I'll marry your daughter whenever you say. Uh, what's her name? Berengaria. And you'll marry her tonight. Yes, 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 tonight. My son. Wait for the King of Navarre. Robert, have his cattle driven into our lines and the, uh, the grain stored in our ships. This wedding, sire. No, 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 never mind that. Just tell the men that they'll eat tonight. Yes, sire. But, daughter, he's your saint in armor, your pure white knight. The minstrels sing his praises. You've heard them. Ah, you'll bless me for this marriage, my child. Never. If you'd given your cattle to help the crusade, this never would have happened. Well, well I, I did. I gave him the cattle, and he gives you a crown. Ah, oh, but he's such a noble king. So gentle. Uh, didn't you strew flowers in his path? My daughter, what's the matter? When the sun goes down for another day, the dipper dips to the Milky Way, we up with our cups to the high and hold. Sing for your dinner. <laughs> oh, the man in the moon has a light in his eye. And the dog star barks in the midnight sky. Our king, he lifts his cup on high. Hi-ho, and down we go. <laughs> All right, Blundell, you've earned your dinner. <laughs> hey, we go. Oh, well, what is it? The lady is waiting. What lady? Berengeri of Navarre, whom he will marry, sir. Married? Sorry. Married? Oh, Richard is no ladies' man, though something of a sinner. He eats and drinks and now he pays. Never for Blondell's dinner. Shut up, fool. No light matter to wed the daughter of Navarre. Oh, I hope she's lighter than her father. Oh, sire, let me lead you to the bridal bower. I'll do more. I'll send you in my place. Oh, but Richard, I can't. I, I draw my sword. Huh? Draw my sword. Oh. Oh. Now bear it with you to the chapel. A sword to a wedding? You've never heard that one of royal blood may send his sword to the altar in his stead? Very hey, good, brother. Marriage by token is your privilege, sir. Oh. Oh. What? What? What will the Navarre say to this bridegroom? That's for you to worry about. <laughs> Blondell, uh, oh. to keep the lady waiting? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, oh. Blondell. This is a bad beginning. He's a ladies' oh. man. Blondell, he would a wooing go, whether his mother would let him or no. <laughs> Where is King Richard? Here. 
That's King Richard's minstrel. And King Richard's sword. Yes, my lord of Navarre. He, he sent his sword as a token. A token? Of what? Isn't Richard coming? He is in despair that he cannot be here. What? A thousand duties assail him. And so, in his place, he sent... me. You? His minstrel? No, no, my lady. He didn't send me in his place. He didn't send me. He sent his sword to be wed to you, just as if my king himself were here. Your gallant king. I'm tricked. Tricked by that rogue of a Richard, that breaker of promises. I'll have the blood out of you for this. Good brother, tell him. Fire, the man says true. If your daughter marries this sword, she marries King Richard. Eh? Such is the law. The law? The law? And the marriage will hold? Until death. There, you see, my child, you were mistaken. Didn't I tell you Richard was a man of his word? A pure knight, a noble king. Uh, let us begin the ceremony. No. No, I will not. But my child. No, Father, let me go. Please, let me go. But it's the man himself you will marry, Richard of England. And you agreed for your father's sake, for the crusade. For the crusade? Hmm. Begin. We have come together before God and his angels in the place of this holy church, that we may couple together these two bodies. When Jupiter winks and Venus below, and the nightmare gallops to and fro, we'll drink to our king with a high and ho. High ho, and we go. All right, Hercules, we'll go and see if my horse is lame. Now, now, man, keep your seats, keep your seats. Eat your fill and drink deep. And uh, look to your horses before you turn in. Tomorrow we sail for Palestine. Long live Richard! Long live Richard! Long live thou, Richard, have this woman to thy wife, to love her and worship her and keep her in sickness and in health and all others forsake and hold thee to her to thy life's end? I will. Or he will. Wilt thou, Berengaria, have this man to thy husband? To love him, obey him, worship him, and serve and keep him in sickness and in health, and all others forsake, and hold thee only to him to thy life's end? I will. I join you, man and wife, in holy wedlock. The ring. In nomine patris, et filii, et spiritus sancti. Amen. Wilt thou give to the sword the kiss of peace? What token shall I take, Richard? Oh, my child! Oh, my lady, my lady! There's your token! Take that back to him! Oh, my lady! Tell him that's all he'll ever say of me! I hate him! I'll never, never forgive him! My child, you're beside yourself! Sire, your sword. Ah, oh, then I'm married. <coughs> yes, sire. And what did the wench say to her husband? Well, she said many things. Oh, sire, if you could only have seen her. Well, she... I don't want to see her. Here, give me a cloth or something to bandage this wound. Now, oh, what's this you have? A token from your bride. Hmm, soft, isn't it? 
That's what I need. Hip, son. Hip, hip. Well, she said it's all you'll ever see of her. <laughs> That's good. I'd not be seeing her anyway. We set sail in the morning. Angel looking down from heaven smile. Not upon a devil looking up. <laughs> what? No God speed for a poor crusader? Not for Richard of England. Oh, so you recognize me? Yes. And who are you? It wouldn't matter to you, Richard. Ride on. As you wish, my lady. Yes. I wonder who she is. Your wife? What? Berengaria, your wife. You married her last night. Oh, why that devil didn't you tell me she looked like that? You didn't die. Oh, yeah. uh, Richard, you can't go back now. The fleet is waiting and the King of France is ready to sail. May a poor devil look up to heaven again. Are you so far above me, my angel, that you cannot hear? Perhaps it's the smell of brimstone that makes you tilt your pretty nose so high. Ah, now I see you have two eyes. Or are they stars? <laughs> oh, I confess my sin. I ask your forgiveness. I'm in the dust at your feet. So is my veil. Uh, oh, well, uh, you see, my horse was wounded. Yes. So am I. Here, come back. Wait a minute, you're my wife. Richard! King Philip will sail with the tide. Wait. This is not England. You don't command here. Nor is it Navarre. So you don't command here. Well, I can always leave. Oh, no. Not till I know you're coming to Palestine. Palestine? You're very lovely, Berengaria. I'll never go. Oh, we'll see. Navarre! Let go of my wrist. You're hurting oh, it. Stop pulling, then. Navarre! What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the... Is this my wife? Now, Richard, now. That was all settled last night. You can't change your mind now. Is she my wife? That's what I said. You have the cattle. We had a priest and witnesses. Have a board ship then. I'll never step foot on your ship. No, not on mine. I go on a war galley. You go on the ship of the women. Richard! The tide is full. We must sail. Ten to it, Wait! She has a will of her own, a very strong will of her own. It's not... You have attraction. her on that boat. Or when I come back, I'll visit your hateny kingdom with fire and sword and burn your castle over your ears. He would do it, Berengaria. You must go on that ship, as he says. No! Oh, but Berengaria... No, never, never will I set my foot on that ship! Oh, but Berengaria, it's such a beautiful ship. Master of the ship. Your 
pardon, Princess Alice, but there's another lady come to the ship. Who is she? I'm, I'm sorry, my lady, but I'm afraid that she must have this cabin. What? Gracious lady, I assure you, it's the truth. Surely you have made a mistake. This is the royal cabin. Thank you. Yes. I am Alice of France, betrothed to King Richard. Who are you? I'm his wife. His... His what? His wife. I was married to him last night. We can share the cabin. Share with you? Why, I'll kill you, you little lily baby! No, 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 challenge of the kings of Christendom. The crusade has crossed the sea. Our Christian armies surround your wall. In the name of God, we call upon you to surrender the city of Arca. What is your answer? Oh! oh. 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 Shot it! Oh. Oh. Assassins! Kings of the Crusade, this is their answer to our herald. Insolence! Arrogant! We'll send them back ten thousand like it! They struck the first blow! We'll answer them with blood! Aye. 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 Have you forgotten that the cross upon which our Lord died is within the walls of Acre? We must try to open those gates without more bloodshed. I have granted a truce. A truce? Saladin, Sultan of Islam, comes now before this council of kings. Let him see the might. Kings of the council, I've kept you waiting while I sought for one whose ship was delayed. My lords, the Queen of England, Do you hear, Philip? I am presenting my wife. I greet the Princess of Navarre. Philip! My Lord of France. Your Majesties. Lester! Why do you grant truce to the infidel? To hear if he'll make terms? We'll make our own terms with the sword. My lords, Saladin comes. Saladin the conqueror, Sultan of Islam. Who is your leader? I am. Who speaks? Richard of England. The Lion King. And I am Philip, King of France. And who are my other enemies? I am Hugo of Burgundy. And I am Frederick, Duke of the Germans. Michael, Prince of the Russian. Vere, the Norse King. I am Leopold of Austria. Weyamos, Sicily. I am Nicholas. Count of Hungary. And I am Conrad of Montferrat. 
You see, infidel, we are many kings. There is room in Asia to bury all of you. Insolent! Posting and wine go well together. Ho oh, there! Bring wine for the infidel! We of the true faith drink no wine. You refuse me? Not you, my noble enemy. I refuse the wine. Well, we'll drink water then. A goblet of water for the king of the infidels. They told me he had horns like the devil. I think he's magnificent. Water may be poisoned as easily as wine. It is our custom that someone first taste the cup offered a king. Richard of England offers no poison cup. Drink. Well? She did well. Brave. Well, what have you come to say? Must my wife give you courage to speak as well as drink? Your wife? She does not wear the crown of England yet. Robert, give my wife escort to my tent. Your Majesties. My Lord Sultan. Now, what brings you here in truce before us? I offer peace to you, foes of Islam. You will surrender Acre and then Jerusalem. I will surrender nothing. Go while yet you live. Lead your armies and your ships over the sea whence you came. I say to you, go in peace while you can. Boasting is cheap. Life is cheap. We do not fear you. We are many kings. And I am one king with many armies. Go and live, stay and die. Uh, Old words, we'll answer you with steel. With this sword, I'll cut my way into Jerusalem. No, you'll find the blade too dull. Huh? My sword dull? Here, yeah, fetch me a mace, an iron mace. Guard, bring up a chair, set it in line with this. My sword dull, eh? <laughs> the Lion King has shown us the strength of his arm, not the sharpness of his sword. What does he mean? <laughs> Here, cut through this, in midair. That's impossible. It offers no resistance. Sharp blade, my lord Sultan, but Christian armor is not made of silk. Just as easily will I cut your crusade to pieces unless you accept my terms. From you, Sultan of Islam, I accept only war. My lords, my answer is war. No terms. War. War. God and the cross. Very well, my lords. War. Within a month, I shall enter Jerusalem. By Allah, you shall never pass the gates of Jerusalem.
dealer's shop. Richard, by what right do you call yourself leader of the crusade? I don't care who leads, if it be through Arca toward Jerusalem. Or who gives command if it be to battle. But Richard, you my know lords, very... My lords, please. You must not quarrel. England and France are the hope of the crusade. Yes, oh, right, right. Right. You must stand together until we win Jerusalem. The oath of the crusade binds us. Richard gave no thought to that when he made this marriage. If marriage indeed it be. Philip. Harry. Marriage it is, cousin Philip. It is more than a marriage. It's a studied insult to France. Be careful, Lord. Lord. Richard. I regret the insult, but not the marriage. Good night, Tina. Mm. Good night. Good night, Tina. Oh. Good night, Tina. Oh. I said good night, Tina. Oh. 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 Uh. Uh. Oh. You didn't find your way to my tent, did you? I liked my own tent better. How should you know? My bedposts are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They are consecrated to my safety. I, too, as your husband, am consecrated to your safety. Then stand on guard, outside. Is it Saladin that you fear? He looked at you today, I noticed. Saladin would not force himself upon me. Well, he's an infidel, remember? Ah, infidel. Had you but half his courtesy. Have I spoken harshly? That's easily changed. Um, might it, uh, might it please my sweet queen to come to her husband's tent? <laughs> you see, you don't answer to courtesy. Get up. No. Matthew, Mark, Luke, uh, and John. I wish you to understand that this lady is my wife. Who wishes to be alone? I just wanted to assure them. What are you doing? Well, I usually remove my spurs before retiring. If I scream, every woman in this camp will come. All right, then scream. your minstrel meowing of love. You don't know what love is. Perhaps I do. Even if I can't put it into pretty words. Oh, it isn't what you say. It's... It's what you are. I'm no pale gallant to sit at a woman's feet. No, I should say you're not. You take by storm. What's a woman to you? A citadel, a herd of cattle. Oh, Richard of England, it's not as easy as that. Now, will you please leave my tent? As you will. Since you go with me. Richard, what are you doing? Let me go, Richard, let me go! I told you to go to my tent, and that's I where am you're not going. I'm going to your tent. Put me down. You are. I can find you. I'll get you out of here. Look here, I'm your husband. You're not. This is my husband. This is what I married. For goodness sake, be reasonable. You devil. My husband will protect me. Drop that sword, you wildcat! Not until you get out of my tent, you blustering <laughs> Well, we're attacked, sir. Saladin attacks from the gate. 
Yes, dear child, to my sorrow. He's wounded. No. He's... No. He's not dead. He's not harmed as yet. But a messenger has arrived from England. Bad news? Tell me, my dear, you love Richard greatly, don't you? I am his wife. He never comes to your tent, yet you love him. No. Your lips say no, but your eyes just now when you thought him oh, dead. Tell me, what's the matter? What does the messenger say? You sow a crusader's banner. Tell me. But you stand between England and France, and anyone who stands there, bearing areas in the way of the crusade, yes, in the path of God. What right of you to say a thing like that? How terrible. That the lovely thing you are could destroy a rich destroy Richard. And the crusade. Oh, but how could I? I'd give my life up. There'd be no need for that if only Richard would give you up, annul your marriage, send you away. Does Richard want that? No, no. Richard will not let you go, and it is not in your power to give him up. My dearest child, you must be very brave. For you alone can help him now. But how? How can I possibly help him? What can I do? You must step from the path of the crusade. You mean... kill myself? What else is to be done? Richard has been summoned to the council. He stands now at bay before the kings. Take me there. At once. Richard, you are no longer King of England. And who has dethroned me, Cousin Philip? Your brother John. My brother? Who brings you such report? Tell this lion of ours the news from England. Tell him who holds the throne of England. King John. King John! You lie, you treacherous dog! In all of England. Oh. Oh. Who dares believe his word? I have proof. I am England's king! Not if I support your brother John. How bold we grow with treason! I, Sir France, not England. Richard, 
Put that woman aside. Marry my sister, and I support you against John. John offers to make Alice Queen of England. Richard, you must make your choice. She was sold for cattle. I am land and power. What does love matter? I am France. Richard is England or John is England. I marry England. Choose, Richard. Who gives Alice the crown of England? You or John? Kneel, Berengaria. What would you do? Kneel. Oh, Richard, please, give me up. Put me aside. You will kneel, Berengaria. Think, think. You will destroy yourself. The crusade. For me. What she says is true. You will destroy yourself. Oh, please, Richard. I, Richard, King of England, bestow upon thee, Berengaria of Navarre, the right of sovereignty. In the presence of these lords of Christendom, I grant thee the royal privileges that thou shalt rule by my side and share my crown, and only death shall deprive thee of this power. Berengaria, Queen of England. Whoever challenges this act makes war with Richard. I have only one answer. Renounce this woman, or France withdraws from the crusade. Lord of France, you must not. Master France. France must not Call back your men. Oh, Sire. Sire. No, no, my lord. France must remain. Please. France and England are the two arms of the crusade. I Please. will not fight beside him. Don't let him withdraw from the crusade. Make peace with France. This will end the crusade. Give her up. And the crusade will go on. This woman means war with France. Give her up, Richard. Send her away. This there woman. is no other way. Put her aside. This may will be your undoing. Listen, Richard. I stand firm. Father, Father, stop them. Make peace between them. You'll regret it. Cease your quarrel. I'll follow Philip of France. Aye. And Aye. Cease your quarrel. We fight over your pity kingdoms here. There is but one kingdom, the kingdom of God. Richard of England, you lied when you took that cross you bear. You've broken faith with man and God. Do you hold to that woman against the crusade? Will you destroy the crusade? Silence! I have my wife at my side and English swords to follow me. I'll open the gates of Jerusalem if I go alone. Now, what do you think of your husband? You're magnificent. There's no one like you, Richard. And you no longer hate me. For standing alone against them all, against the world for me. I want to kneel to my king. Oh, Berengaria. It's I who should kneel to my queen. Oh. England will be so proud of you. But England must be proud of you. If you could only love me a little. Oh, Richard. Much more than a little. Does anything else matter? What? What matters most is... you're wrong. For making you Queen of England? Oh, I loved you for doing it, and, and still you're wrong. If I could pluck the stars from heaven to make a brighter crown for you, I'd do it. Oh, it's lovely. But it's nothing. You are everything. The crown is yours, not mine. The fate of these men, the crusade itself is in your hands. Oh, Richard, if you break with Philip, you wrong God. 
and make me guilty. I have broken already. But you'd make peace if I were out of the way. England, France, what's it all matter? All that counts now is that I love you and you love me. But it means your throne, your life. Oh, Richard, send me away to a convent. If you went to 40 convents, I'd smash my way through 40 walls to find you. I won't destroy you. Destroy me? Why, you've given me something to fight for. I never knew there was such a power of fighting in love. Would you let our love stand in the way of the whole world? In the way of heaven, if need be. Why do you look at me like that? Then, Gary, what do you think of you? Oh, Richard, hold me closer. I am yours. I do love you and will love you no matter where I am forever. You'll be here in my arms forever. Nothing else counts, does it? Nothing. I'd give my life for you. And I will give mine for you. Kiss me, beloved. One kiss to last through all eternity. Oh, Richard. Make me proud of the soul that I called my husband. Brought us together. Till now it's kept us apart. The priest said until death. Richard. Promise me one thing. Anything. Swear that you'll go on to Jerusalem no matter what happens. That you'll let this sword stand between us until the crusade is won. I swear to you, Madame Garia that this sword will enter Jerusalem and rest on the tomb. And if that is not done, may it stand between us as man and wife forever. Sendeth his bolt and smiteth whom he will. Oh, my Sultan, why do I see you in these garments of the Christians? So that I may pass through their lines as a Christian knight. Your life is sacred to Islam. You must not risk it. My life is in the hand of Allah. I must ride to our army in Jerusalem and return with a hundred thousand horsemen, or Akka will fall. Allah grant that you return unharmed, as Allah wills. Have the horses brought to the shepherd's gate in the east wall. Foes of Islam shall be as dust, and the wind of the wrath of Islam shall scatter their dust over the earth. What you nearly got? What are you doing here? Oh, the queen. Forgive me, my lady. You can't go out there. There's nothing out there but death. Many have died for the crusade. I seek the hermit, the holy man. He's not out yonder. Then find him for me. I want him. I want him to comfort someone who's about to die. Yes, my lady. My lady, I can't, I can't leave my post. 
Oh, but you can if I order you. Well, uh... I shall keep your post for you. You? <laughs> I will wear your mantle. Then no one will know. Well, lady, it's kind of rough for you. I must have something to cover my head. Will you give me your helmet, too? Why, yes. Oh. <laughs> I look like a real sentry. <laughs> a very funny sentry. <laughs> Please go. I'll find him. I'll bring the holy man to you, my lady. Sultan is leaving, but your eyes be the eyes of hawks. Father, look. Uh, go back, Father. Run, run for your life. Uh. Master, Master, we must try down. We must go. Allah has sent her to me. I will not let her die. Captive behind that wall. The holy man! The holy man is taken! Sound the call to arms. Sound the call to arms! Thank <laughs> you. 
Charles of Occo. The Hornet has been captured. Raise the Holy Flame of France. We join the attack. In God's name and the King! To us! To us! we do? On! On ye men of the cross! Good father, if we attack, it means your death. Fear not, my sons, attack. Within these walls is the cross of our Lord. Dog of an unbeliever, send back your people or you die! Yes, death! Yes, yes, send them back! I command you in the name of God, attack! Stop his blasphemy yes, voice! In this sign, ye shall conquer. Silence him! Give him a go, Lord. End of the cross! Attack!
Yeah, Mujir. Come with me. Which of you has seen the Christian queen? Oh, King, we have seen no Christian woman. She's captive here. Where is she? Babaris. I'll get the truth out of you. It, it is the truth. Oh, we know oh. nothing. Sir, we've searched the palace from tower to vault. Your lady is not there. Well, set the houses everywhere. Sir, sir. Uh, we have searched and questioned. No one has seen the Lady Baron Gurio. Take what men you need, but find her. Sire, sire, it is the cross, the true cross. Sire, I have seen it. I have seen it. Sire. Oh, well. I have seen it. Your wounds been looked at. Oh, it matters not. I have touched the wood of the true cross of our Lord. It's in there. It blesses those who touch it. My boy, you're badly hurt. I'm dying. But I've touched the cross. Go, my king. Lay your hand on it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. It is found. It is there. In eternal light. Awaiting you. All right, son. We'll go together. with Saladin. Saladin? They went through our lines toward Jerusalem. Send the call to arms. We go on to Jerusalem. My horse. You cannot, Richard. Thousands lie dead outside the walls. The Count you of Hungary. You have my orders, Robert. Sire. Sire. The cross. Sire. Saladin has gone to a great army at Jerusalem. They will outnumber us ten to one. Sound the call. Sire, it's certain death. Death. Don't go, sire, don't go. Not half the crusade lives to follow you. I ride to Jerusalem. Let follow me who will. <laughs> Here is peace by the holy city of Jerusalem. I carried you here in my arms, and I prayed to Allah that you would live. You are kind. No knight could be more gentle. Because you have crept into my heart. Tell me. Why did England's queen desire to die? Because I was in the way of my husband. For his sake? Yes. You are no longer the wife of the Lion King. What do you mean? Islam does not accept a Christian marriage. Oh. And here is the love of Saladin. 
who holds you ever in his heart, who worships your loveliness, who would give you all the gifts of the world, happiness, power, the kings of Asia to kneel at your feet. That would not bring me happiness. Words that rise quickly to the lips may not be true. The truth lies hidden in your heart. I am your captive. I do not love you. Love is not a ring of gold to hold you captive to it. Love is a flower that blooms at Allah's will. It is written that you should come to me. And who can change what is written? Master. Yes? Oh, my master, Akka has fallen. The Christians are on the march. The Lion King rides to Jerusalem. Tomorrow he will be within sight of the holy city. Summon the Amir. Tomorrow I shall meet the Lion King in battle. You will never defeat him. You shall go with me. And from my tent you shall see the foes of Islam swept like dust before the might of Allah. Richard, there is nothing here but the dead. Oh, I tell you, old Hercules is slain. He saved my life today. It was by that mound. And I'm going to find his body. Search tomorrow, sire, when we can see. Tomorrow? Tomorrow we may keep him company in heaven or hell. Tomorrow we fight again. What's left of us?
Sorry, I take care. There are the lights of Saladin's camp. All right, I'll go that way. Hotel, oh, you go this way. Oh, but yeah. Richard, I... Give me that torch. Templar, you stay on that mound and watch. What brings Conrad of Montferrat to me? I offer you victory. Tomorrow I shall win it. The crusade is broken. Not yet. Victory is not sure while Richard of England lives. You are his brother's friend. And would be yours. What price do you ask for your treachery? The kingdom of Jerusalem, which I shall rule under you. And what do you offer me? Richard's death. Within the hour he will lie on the battlefield among the slain. Who would slay your lion of the crusade? <laughs> Fifteen swords of mine follow him where he goes alone. With Richard dead, you will rule unchallenged in Asia. I have no traffic with assassins. Yes. Away with this dog. My lord Sultan, you can save him. Your Lion King? Yes. It is not my hand that will strike him down. Would you let him die by the swords of traitors? He is the tempest that has shaken Islam. My men have died beneath his sword. But you can tell him, warn him. If he were here, as you are, my captive, then I would spare him. For a ransom? Yes. Then I will be his ransom. You, my prince. Oh, yes, yes. Take me to be your wife, but save his life. Send men to aid him quickly. Oh, quickly warn him before it's too late. You will open your arms to my love. Yes, yes, I promise. Karkush, ride to the English king. He searches among the dead on the battlefield. Say to him, guard thyself against the soldiers of Montferrat. Oh, my sultan, guard thyself against this accursed Christian woman. Go. I obey. Ride swiftly, swiftly. Sire. Okay. Old Smithy. They told me you were dead. Here, let me. No, lad. No, lad. I'm done. I wanted to tell you, Richard. Yes. I've been lying here by it, thinking. It's more than the sword I made for you, lad. Nothing else matters. Steady, steady. If you've got this. <sighs> the cross. Old Hercules.
Whose men are these? Conrad of Montferrat's. But they obey me. And what message do you bring me now? Your death. Strike him down. Ask Ask him. Kill him. Come on. Oh. Come on, How is it that Saracens come to the aid of the English king? By Allah, I come not of my own will. Then who sent you? The Christian queen. Berengaria? Where is she? In the tent of my master. Now, off you dog. Give me that horse. In the tent of your master, eh? Oh, my master, the king of the Christians. Let him pass. Richard. Lion King, you come unbidden to my tent. I've come for my wife. She is my captive. You are not wise to seek her here. Now I hold you. As my army holds within its ranks the remnant of your crusaders, I have conquered. If I die here, at least I'll take you with me. And my men will fill hell with your infidels. By Allah, I wish you might have been my brother, not my foe. I offer the lion what I would offer no other man. Your crusade is crushed. Your kingdom is seized by your brother John and other traitors seek your life. Surrender yourself. Accept Islam, and I will make you king of Jerusalem. I fight for the cross. No. You wear the cross of one who gave his life in this very land that men might be at peace. But you have no faith in that cross. Those who follow me have faith. In their blood, they crawl to that cross in Arca. Shall I break faith with them now? Oh, no, Richard, no. Not to save my life. You have chosen your fate. What ransom will you take for my wife? Whatever you ask, I grant. I will take no ransom. She promised herself to me, and she is mine. You will not say that and live! Richard! Hold! Richard! Out of my way! Richard, if it's blood you want, I'll tear over my wound. Let my blood flow with yours and all the others. Oh, my love, they've hurt you. No, no. No, Saladin healed me, cared for me. You owe your own life to him. To Saladin? She promised herself to me to save your life. I'll not accept my life at that price. Richard. Do you intend to keep your promise? Yes. Oh, Richard, you must believe. I've never loved anyone but you. I love you now. Don't make me suffer more. If only we could put an end to pain. If only we could have peace. If you fight on, thousands and thousands more will die. Richard, you mustn't. You know how to yield to a conqueror. You think to teach me? We've been blind. We were proud, dearest, when we took the cross. And in our pride, we fought to conquer Jerusalem. We tried to ride through blood to the holy place of God. But now, now we suffer. The holy city of Allah. Oh, what if we call him Allah or God? Shall men fight because they travel different roads to him? There is only one God. His cross is burned deep into our hearts. It's here, and we must carry it with us wherever we go. 
Oh, don't you see, Richard? There's only one way. Peace. Make peace between Christian and Saracen. You ask me to lay down my sword. If you love me. Sultan, I offer you peace. You ask for the truce of Allah? Truce of Allah or peace of God, yes. I ask it for the crusade. Upon what terms? The gates of Jerusalem shall be opened and all Christian captives shall be freed. All Muslim captives in Akka shall be freed. Every Christian shall be allowed to enter Jerusalem. If they bear no arms. Granted. They shall come in peace to the tomb and go in peace. All but you. Lion of the Christians, the foe of Islam, you may not enter the gates. I vowed to go to Jerusalem with my sword. And I vowed you should never pass the gates of Jerusalem. I offer terms your sword could never win. Richard. Richard, you hold the peace of the world in your hand. What does it matter what happens to us? If men can live and the holy city be freed. Baron Geria, you know what you ask. Yes. We've come to our cross, beloved. We carry our love and the pain of it deep in our hearts. Your terms are granted. Stands between us as man and wife. I make peace with you. Let there be peace. You love him deeply. come through blood to your holy city. Have pity on the fool that I am. The holy man was right. 
Your cross has burned deep into my heart. I'm no longer king. I've no pride now. No glory. I kneel to my God. Grant me your mercy and give her back to me. Have pity on a penitent fool. Joy. I'm glad they're happy, but I can't feel anything except wanting you. Was there ever such happiness in the world? You gave him this. This that all the hours of Christendom could not give. See, the gates of Jerusalem are open. The crusade is going in. Now I can take my gift to the tomb of our Lord. No, no, don't leave me yet. Last night, I asked for you. You are? Who? I just begged for you. You prayed. We've reached the gates. I can go no further. But I shall come back to you, Richard. And I have laid our gift before our Lord so that it will no longer stand between us as man and wife. But Saladin... Saladin bade me tell you, all captives shall be freed. It will not hold me without love. I'm yours, Richard. Oh, merciful God. <laughs> <laughs> 